Hi FBC, wanted to share an update with you this week and uh, to wish you a Merry Christmas as we're entering into this Advent season. We're a few weeks in and uh, really grateful for all the people who have participated with us on Sunday mornings uh, in person. And now uh, this weekend, we're going to have a reflection read from Janet Larson at home. And so looking forward to that part of our celebration time of Advent this weekend. Um, I wanted to remind you that uh, we have a Christmas Eve service on Thursday, the 24th at 4 p.m. Thursday at 4 p.m. We'd love to have you join us. Um, we'll have lots of seats set up and available and uh, would love for you to come and join us as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And we light the fifth candle, the Christ candle, the white candle in the middle uh, to celebrate uh, Christmas Eve. I want to say thank you to those who worked hard to decorate our Welcome Center and our Worship Center. It looks just absolutely beautiful to be inside. Uh, thank you for your, your help and work in that. Uh, it just looks great. It's such a, a really a festive place to be as we worship together. And then I also wanted to give thank you to those who helped on our tech team, uh, working to get an, a new camera in place for this week and then working to get some new software in place and working on our router. You probably noticed in our feed last week, uh, we had uh, overlay on the screen and uh, we're really taking some next steps, uh, both in our camera, in our feed, in our overlay, and uh, we're, we're growing in that way. And hopefully that's a blessing to those who are uh, watching from home and connecting with our church in that way. We will share a little bit more in our, in our worship gathering this weekend, but I wanted to celebrate our life group serving together to bless families in need in our community. I was just so encouraged, uh, and, and folks at the school were so encouraged to see uh, the generosity uh, of, of buying presents and caring for uh, people in our community in need this Christmas. It was a, just a, a great way to show the love of Jesus in a really tangible way this Christmas, right after our life groups have formed over the last couple of months. And so I just wanted to say thank you, and we celebrate that together as our smaller communities are living on mission and serving together. These are, these are great steps, and I hope you're encouraged by that. We will this weekend continue in Isaiah chapter 9, uh, looking at the, the four names that Isaiah gives to the Messiah. This week we're going to spend some time on Prince of Peace. And we sang this beautiful hymn last week, O Come All Ye Faithful. And there is a line in the chorus, O Come, Let Us Adore Him. Uh, Jesus is not just to be taught about. He's not just to be sung about. He is to be adored. And that's our goal this Christmas, is encouraging us together to adore him. And, and as we gather together, uh, to be also reminded that God in Christ, by the Spirit, cares for us dearly, that he loves us. Now, what a great reminder that is. And then to, to take our hearts because he first loved us and to then increasingly adore him as we respond to his love for us. He loves you. And so we look forward to celebrating this weekend uh, and adoring him. May God bless you. I pray that you would sense his nearness as you're working on the fighter verse for this week, as you're working through the Advent devotional together at your table. Um, may God bless you. I pray you're encouraged, you're prayed for often. We love you. And we look forward to worshiping together this weekend.